everyone, my name is Sharice. If you're new, if you're not new, thank you for clicking on another video. So today's video is going to be a first impression Friday and the product that I'm trying out today is the Too Faced Born This Way, ooh, Born This Way foundation. I feel like I'm probably the last person on earth to try this foundation out, but we had an additional um, discount at work. So I was like, 25% off and then an additional 25% off, may as well try it out, right? So um, I got shade match for the shade Coco and I'm pretty sure there's four or five shades that are darker than um, the shade that I have, I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. Um, so as everyone probably knows already, this foundation is a medium to full coverage. Um, there's like certain things in it. There's coconut water that's supposed to um, replenish the skin's moisture levels. There's alpine rose that's supposed to help brighten and boost the skin's radiance. And then hyaluronic acid is supposed to give you a smoother, more youthful appearance. And listen, I need that in my life. So let's go ahead and try this out. Got you guys zoomed in a little closer. I actually work in about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, I work five to 10 tonight. So I should be back by like 11 so we can see how this, oh no, oh no, oh no. So we can see how this um, foundation worked out for me for, you know, five to six hours or so. I'm gonna just, Put a little bit on this Laneige <laughs> uh, moisturizer. How many did I just pump out? I'm not sure. Um, so I don't have any primer or anything on. I haven't been using primer lately. I just have my eyebrows done. Um, I did spray a little bit of this rose water and glycerin maybe like 30 minutes ago. And the brush that I'm going to use today is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I typically use the Morphe M439 um, brush, but like lately, for some reason, I've been like really into this brush. So, oh, maybe I would need a mirror. Let's see. It doesn't seem to like really have a scent or anything, so that's cool. Um, I do have oily skin. I don't know if I mentioned that. I do have oily skin. Um, I don't typically have like an issue with like my pores or anything. Oh, this earring is irritating me. I, um, yeah, don't typically have an issue with like pores or anything. Um, I usually, my major issue with like my foundation is just the smile line area. I don't know what happened y'all. I turned 27 this year and then I felt like my smile lines were kind of were kind of deepening and then Avery turned five at the beginning of November and I swear it's like overnight my smile lines were just like oh! and I've noticed that they're actually worse when I'm using um, like a more luminous kind of foundation so like my what foundation is it the cover FX the natural finish one um <laughs> My smile lines are terrible when I'm wearing that foundation, but um, lately I've been wearing the Wet n Wild foundation and my smile lines aren't actually that bad. And I've noticed that the Wet n Wild um, foundation is a little more matte than, uh, than the um, Cover FX one that I have. I do have another Cover FX um, foundation that I haven't tried out yet. It's the cream one the one that's in the compact and since the other one is kind of like a creamy consistency and doesn't really dry super matte I'm scared that that cream one's gonna look terrible on me as well so my manager that um shade matched me he did say that he tends to go kind of a little darker when he shade matches to this foundation so we'll see if I need to um, exchange it for a different color or not. 
And then if you've been with my channel for a little bit, you already know the struggle. You already know that my face and my neck and my chest are all three different shades. So it's kind of hard to find a good shade match for me. Especially if I'm wearing like a v-neck or something that you can see like my chest or anything in. It's not that good. So I feel like however many pumps I pumped out was too much because I still have like a decent amount left on oh oops, sorry <laughs> a decent amount left on the cap here. I'm not going to try to build up the coverage or anything um, for myself I don't really feel like I need full coverage I don't really have um, um, bad acne and I don't have like any marks or anything that I really truly want to cover up so I'm not going to load a bunch of foundation on I'm kind of mad at myself for pumping out that much foundation but what can you do I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I will be back all right, we're back. It is currently 3.48. Um, I ended up changing my earrings because I didn't like how my earrings looked with this lipstick. But what I feel like I should have done is just change my lipstick because I don't think I just, I just don't think I like this lipstick. I think that's where we are right now. This is going to irritate me all night. So there's that. Let me zoom you in a little closer. Um, so... The foundation worked out with all my other products, um, but I will say that before I before I put like my other products on, I was like having a good little look at my face with just the foundation on it, and I felt like the foundation like accentuated all of my texture on my face. So I'm not really into that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. So we'll just we'll we'll see how that works out um I will see you guys in a few hours y'all it's 10 40 I completely forgot that I was filming a video so I'm glad that I didn't wipe off my makeup yet um <clears throat> um so as you can see by my sweater here hopefully you can see it maybe the lights are too bright but um <laughs> this foundation definitely transfers um it's all like over my glasses which honestly isn't surprising but that's literally what every foundation does um i don't feel like i look super greasy or anything i was eating nachos excuse me um i don't feel like i look super greasy or anything the color meh like it's not bad, but it's not like amazing either. Um, I will say that my face has been itchy literally this entire time. Like as soon as I am done filming, I'm wiping this face off. I don't know why my face is so itchy. Um, the smile lines aren't tragic. They're um, definitely better than what my smile lines look like when I'm using the Cover FX Natural Finish. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Natural Finish Foundation. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a card somewhere around here. Um, my brows look crazy. Um, yeah, like, I'm honestly not wowed by this foundation but I'm also not like I don't hate it if that makes sense so I will say that I don't have a setting spray right now I'm gonna actually buy a setting spray tomorrow so what I use on my face is the rose water and glycerin so it has glycerin in it so that could also be another reason why I am like a little a little greasy it's not it's honestly not bad it's not bad and I'm done talking um 
If you've tried this foundation, let me know down below what you think of it. Um, let me know what your holy grail foundation is, actually, because maybe I'll pick it up and um, do a first impression on it. If you are not already subscribed and you watched this entire video, go ahead and subscribe. Clearly, you like me. <laughs> and um, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up so more people can see it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.